Lila, it's Gigi here, and I am going to show you how to make Gigi's Rising Star by Clark Michaela. She dedicated this to me, and I'm very honored to be able to bring you the tutorial. So she has tons and tons of designs and um, renditions on her account. If you care to, please give her a follow for me, and it's Clark Michaela with two L's. Okay, great. I'm going to put that aside and let's get started. So there's a pattern that runs up the center here. I think there's five sections of it. So what you want to do, whatever um, you decide to do for your pattern, that's the first two bands that you're going to lay. So I'm using the navy, so I'm going to drop the two bands here for my closure. And then I'm going to bring a navy out to the right and a navy out to the left. And you're going to do the same thing at the top when you get to the top. And I think it stops three, um, three pins from the top. I'll have to double check that when we get to that. But Okay. There. So <clears throat> this is the color that my pattern is going to be. My pattern is going to be navy up here. And I hope I've chosen the right colors. Okay, and now I have um, this, the sparkly blue, and I, you know, I don't remember what the name of it is. I think it is, ah, the Liberty Blue. Very pretty Liberty Blue sparkly. So I'm going to use that for my, um, for my border. It's very close to the navy. So two out to the right and two out to the left. And I'm going to bead, well, I have beaded bands to go up the side. So um, one band up, so it's going to be plain band, beaded band, plain band, beaded band, all the way up. Now I have beaded um, these little square spacer beads. Okay, so I'm going to put those on there. I'll just do one up. And then... I have a issue with my <laughs> bands being straight. I like them straight, even though I know I know when I um, pull them off or when I loom them up, they're probably going to end up crooked. But that's just me, probably. Okay, so then to the right side, you're going to do the same thing: single band, beaded band. Um, you don't have to bead these if you don't want to. I just like to bead things. I'm funny that way. I like them beaded. I think they look um, prettier if they're beaded, but you know, they're beautiful bracelets anyway, even without the beads. Okay, so <clears throat> these first two bands here are the same color as your pattern, the pattern that's going to be in the center. Okay? Out, diagonal, up, 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 all the way to the top of your loom. I think you're going to be stopping three pins away from that and you will go up on the diagonal, across, and then up on the diag diagonal when they meet in the middle. Okay, so, yeah, my sister's here. That's her phone. <laughs> All right, so let me, um, next thing, we'll go ahead and lay that pattern. Now the pattern this con is considered your first diagonal right here on the right. I'm going to take it out to the right. I'm going to bring it straight up. Out to the, and that is way crooked, huh? Oh, wow. Well. Diagonal in towards the center. Okay. Now, in her um, flippogram, she added beads to the second diagonal. They come together right here. So I have beaded these and I'm hoping that these spacer beads are not too big but we're going to try it anyway okay so we're going to bring that to the center okay just like that going to do the same thing on the other side this is considered your first diagonal this will be your second out to the right going to go straight up diagonal to the middle or to the right and then one more, <clears throat> which will be your beaded band if you choose to bead them. Okay? And 
before we get too much further, well, come on. Before we get too much further, I wanted to remind you that when you lay your bands, before you lay your bands, make sure that the open end and the arrows are pointed away from you. I've done that before and had to take the whole bracelet apart because I was not able to loom it up. So <clears throat> you really need to pay attention to that. Oh, and I'm so sorry. This is your layout. Center, up one to the right and then the left, straight across and then stagger up. Okay, there we go. So um, getting back to this pattern, I'm going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having allergies. So I'm going to, where we left off, where we joined it together, right up here, I'm going to go out to the right on the diagonal twice. First one will be beaded. The next one is not beaded. Then we're going to go straight up. Uh, where did my bead? Oh, I couldn't, lost my bands there for a second. Diagonal towards the center. Okay, and now I'm going to add my beaded band to this. Right there, so it meets in the center. Go back over to right here where we started, where we already have these three beaded bands. I'm going to go out to the left. Whoops, you know what? Oh, goodness. This is the fourth beaded band. So between each of the patterns, you're going to have your beads if you choose to do those. If not, that's fine. You just won't have any. You still go out on a diagonal. One more diagonal. Straight up. Well, I didn't go on all the way, did it? <clears throat> Straight up. Diagonal to the right, and then with a beaded band, I'm going to go diagonal to the center. Okay, so make sure you push all of your bands down. Um, so the pattern is, and I'll just show you this one right here. So we're going to do, oh, I didn't even have those on. Well, goodness, I think you got the idea. I don't know if those were in frame or not, but I'll go over this one more time with you. Just like at the bottom, you're starting here, you'll go diagonal to the right twice, straight up, diagonal to the left try twice. Drop back down, diagonal to the left twice, up one, and diagonal to the center twice. Okay, so repeat that pattern all the way up to the top. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do your border bands first, all the way up to the top, and then come back and do your pattern. And that's the first one. With this being whatever color these bands right here, whatever color your pattern is going to be, whatever you choose, okay? I'm gonna finish up um, my patterns and my borders and then push everything down and I will be back with you, okay? I am back and there actually are six of these on the loom where you should have six. So when I got to the top, let me scoot this down. When I got to the top, what I did, and it's one, two, three, four down is where you stop on the right hand side here say so one two three four okay so you bring it up diagonal across and then you've got your diagonal across these colors right here are the same color as your pattern okay so if you used a lighter color or whatever I mean say if I used yellow and green and this was yellow then these would be green and this right here would be yellow because that is Part of that pattern so you want to make sure you uh, pay attention when you lay those especially if they're different otherwise your pattern might look a little funny okay so trying to decide here and I think I'm going to use um, my metallic gold that is stuck together <laughs> so what I'm going to do first though I'm going to use that for underneath um, because we'll be laying another layer after this I believe so I'm going to use this LE okay so what you want to do in the very center pin you want to take it up one and you'll be doing this in all of the patterns so up one go over to the left and lay a band so second pin bar second pin bar uh, second pin up 
a left from left to right and then go up one and lay another one pushing those down go over to the other side second pin bar second pin and lay one across those right there and you'll go up and lay another straight across I call them cross bands but who knows and then you'll go up from where you were to this pin right here and lay it and attach it to where these all meet in the middle okay so from there I believe oh goodness I believe I'm going to lay a starburst so a starburst so in the middle of all these is this pin right here and that's three pins up from the center starburst goes from here diagonal and you do it in a clockwise motion and when we take them off we lay them in a counterclockwise motion so one there diagonal down straight down diagonal to the left down diagonal to the right up and then one more straight up okay we do not have to lay um, cap bands on this because there's going to be another layer on top of here and that will act as your cap band. So I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, In the next section you'll do this in all six of the sections. So where they meet, all of your bands meet in the middle there, you're going to go straight up. Okay, Pin to the left and up. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll count the six. Second pin bar in, sixth pin, straight across, go up, straight across. Grab some more bands, come over to the other side and mirror this like that. And you're actually putting them, um, at, attaching them to your pattern, okay? Like that, and then straight up in the center here where they meet. So it will look like this straight up straight up and these across okay then you're going to go ahead and lay another starburst starting from that center pin in between all of those and for mine it's one two three four five six seven pins up in the center diagonal to the right up to the right from that center pin down to the right and try to keep them in order up here because you're going to be pulling them off straight up or down from the center Diagonal left from the center pin, pushing them down. Diagonal up from that center pin, and then one straight up. Okay, so we'll repeat that in all of those patterns, and I will be back with you since I get mine late. Okay, I am back and I finished my starburst in the very center of the last one of these and I, I think there's six of them and there are six and this is what your loom should look like okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to lay zigzags on the left hand side but what we want to do first I'm going to use this is Egyptian it's Egyptian gray very pretty um, I'm really hoping these colors come out you know, sometimes you pick a color scheme and you think it's going to be really pretty and then it ends up being, oh my God, what was I thinking? But this is what we're going to use or what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take my Egyptian gray straight up, second pin bar, first pin, and then I'm going to zigzag all the way up, starting, um, let's see here, starting here going to go out to the left and then out to the right and then left and right okay I think you know how to do that look I push my bands down and they're still creeping up to the top okay just like that up on that side you want to finish that up and you will end with a single band at the top just like we added a single band here you're going to add a single band at the top of that Let's go over to the right hand side. Second pin bar in, first pin. One band straight up. Then we're going to start our zigzags. Out to the right. 
oh, these things are sticking like crazy. Out to the left, out to the right, and then one more to the left. Okay, so you want to finish that all the way up to the end of your loom. And let's see, shall I? Yeah, okay, so finish that all the way up, both sides, ending with a single band at the top, just like you have at the bottom here, okay? Now, oh, colors, colors, oh goodness. Um, I'm going to lay, I believe I'm going to go ahead with my, um, sorry for the noise, with my navy again. I'm going to lay single bands up to, hmm, well, yeah, I guess I'm going to put it over the top of this. I'm, I'm not really sure about that, but I, I don't think it's going to matter. We can loop it up and it'll be okay. So on two and six, we're going to single chain all the way up. Okay, and I'm going to stop there because that's where I ended my zigzag. So go over to the other side. Second pin bar from the right. First pin. Straight up. Oh, goodness. Even after pushing those down. Straight up. And straight up. Okay? So finish your zigzags, ending with a single band at the top. And then come back down and do your single bands on two and six and I will be back with you. I am back and I changed the color of my single bands up here. So what I did was I finished the zigzags right here. Okay. And at the ones the one chain that went up this way. And then I laid my single bands. Same thing over here, my zigzags and then the single bands. Okay. So this is what your loom should look like. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to lay some X's between three, let's see, make sure I've got this right, um, right here, two and three. So we are going to start out in by going to, and I'm going to use the white, one, two, third pin bar in, first pin. To the left, to the right, to the left, and diagonal to the right. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time, I think. Up to the left, drop down, and diagonal to the right. So you'll have X's going all the way up. Just make sure that they're all going the same way. If you started here first, you want to make sure that you continue starting there for your, the first part of your X. Okay, so we're going to mirror that on the other side. Again, I'm taking my white sweets that are sticking together. Okay, so my first band is going to go second pin bar, first pin, diagonal up to the right, drop down. Well, I said right, but that's the left. Okay, so the first one is diagonal on that second pin bar up to the left and then drop down and then to the right, okay? And these are kind of thick, so I'm losing space on my, <laughs> on my pins there. All right, so then up to the right, this one here, up to the left. I try to keep them straight. I know they get messed up when you loom them up, but I'm just funny that way. I like to do that. So you want to make sure you have pushed everything down, okay? So what we're going to do next is after we've laid these single chains, we're going to take a single, I'm sorry, after we've laid these X's, we're going to go on three and six and do single chains or single bands all the way up. Now I think, oh, I don't know what to use. Um, let's see, maybe I'll try my gold. I know I'm going to lay gold in the center here, so um, yeah, I'm going to use my metallic gold. Straight up, get that back into frame, sorry. And grab some bands, and then, boy is that thick, can you see that? Wow, 
<laughs> it's way thick. Okay, another single chain up. And I'm not going to put one on here because I'm going to do another X and I want, I want them to stay in order. So single chain all the way up to the top there. Come down and then single chain third pin bar from the right. First pin, straight up, straight up and then straight up and take that take your X's all the way to the top and your single chains all the way to the top and I will finish mine and be right back okay I am back and I finished my X's on both sides and I took the single chain or single band all the way up to the top okay so next what we're going to do is going to work on these centers here so three four and five between three four and five that's where we're going to work and I'm going to use the metallic gold the same color that I used on my single uh, band straight up so hopefully you pushed everything down I pushed down but um, there's still a lot of bands on there so I might still have to do some pushing okay so we're going to start out third pin that, I'm sorry let me get this back on here Third pin bar, first pin, we're going to go to the center diagonal. And then from there, we're going to go down to the right diagonal. Okay? Now, we are going to go to the next pin up. We're going to go diagonal down. So, third pin bar, second pin, diagonal down, and then diagonal up. Okay, we're going to close that off. So we started with these two here. We're going to close that off and actually make a diamond out of it. Okay, diagonal to the center, diagonal down to the right. And then we're going to do like an inverted or a regular V to the center. And everything of this is, you know, from the center. So the center up. Oh, goodness. Finish that diamond just like that. And you see that those are so we started here. So this is a diamond, and this is a diamond. I'll do one more with you. Okay, if I can get these bands unstuck. Okay, one, two, three, fourth pin up, third pin bar to the center down diagonal, from the center up diagonal to the right. Close that off. In the center we're going to go down to the left and then down to the right okay so finish that up and when we're done I believe we're going to put cat bands on and finish looming okay I am back and I laid these bands right here okay um, I was looking at the flipogram and it was a little hard to tell but I believe when we loop it back up, we'll be looping these. So, um, you want to put cat bands on, well, when we flip it around, it's two, four, and six. Okay, so I've already, I've already laid those three cat bands. So, go ahead and lay those. And I'm hoping by the time we get up to the top, um, I did not lay these cross bands when I first laid the bands. So, we'll see how that goes. And... Um, if we have to, we can lay another set of bands across there. Okay, so we are going to start, um, let's see, we're going to do this diagonals here. So we're going to start in the cap band and you want to reach in and take that top band and loop it diagonally, oh goodness, to the left. Okay, well trying to keep my hands out of the way so sorry then we want to go back in and loop that next top band up and to the right okay now um, let's see we're going to go into one to the third pin first band and we're going to loop it back well come on back to itself. I'm sorry, I'm using the thicker bands and everything is really tight and this is wiggling, so I apologize. So go into the next one, 
grab that top band and bring it. Come on, I don't want you to break. Goodness. Ugh. There we go. Bring it back to itself. And I hope you've pushed all of your bands down. Even pushing mine down, these are still up to the top pretty, pretty far. So I believe that is going to be the pattern all the way up. So go back into the center, second pin. Grab that. Well, come on. Oh, goodness me. Grab that top band and loop it to the left. The next top band, you'll loop it out to the right. Okay. Left hand side, third pin bar, second pin. Reach in, grab that band, and bring it to the center. Go over to the right hand side, third pin bar from the right, grab that top band, and loop it to the center. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'll do that one more time, and we're going to um, follow this all the way up to the end. Okay? Go in, grab that top band. Hopefully, oh, I think I got two. There we go. Grab your top. Well, fighting with my bands tonight, it looks like. Loop it to the left. Go in, grab the next top band, which should be this diagonal right here, and bring it up and to the right. <clears throat> Go in over here, grab that top band. It wants to come loose. Bring it to the center. Grab the other one and bring it to the center. So now that I'm bringing these to the center, I have a feeling that when we get to the top, we're going to have to lay um, bands like this right over the border. So we'll worry about that when we get to it. Um, when I come back, I'll let you know because by the time I come back, I will have finished that. So finish this pattern all the way up and I will meet you back here. Okay, I am back and since I want to be consistent with the bottom, what I'm going to do is lay two bands right here. Now, I would have laid them first, so what I'm going to do is just lift this band off of here and add one right there, okay? And then I'm going to put it back. Sorry, my loom is moving. It's hanging off the end of my table. And I'm going to go over to this one here and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to hold on to that band and lay one right here. Okay, because I just want both ends to be consistent. So there we go. All right, so that being said, let's finish this up. Hopefully I can keep it on without losing my thing here. All right, so what we're going to do is go in second pin from the top. So just make sure that you finish that triangle, okay? So we're going to go in and grab the top band. Kind of hard for me to see here. There we go, I think. Okay, and then we're going to bring it back to itself. Well, I just don't want to go on that band. And I've pushed everything down um, before I came back up because we're going to be adding it, you know, looping up, and so it's going to make those bands pretty um, pretty thick on there. Okay? So then um, the last thing I'm going to do here is reach in, grab that band that I just laid, okay, and then bring it back to itself, just for consistency's sake. Okay? And that was my son, so I probably need to give him a call back, and I will be there. Okay, I am back. I had to go pick up my son from school. He had a JROTC award ceremony today. So, anyway, this is what your loom should look like. We laid those extra bands up here and brought from here we brought it out to the left, out to the right, and then went here and brought it to the center. Okay? And this is what your loom should look like. All right. So, now what we're going to do is um, we are going to loop up the single bands on three and five. So right next to the centers that we did, we're going to go into the cat, well, I don't even know if that's a cat band anymore. No. Okay. So grab that single band, bring it straight up, reach in, 
And it might be a stretch because we have a lot of things on there. And we're, there it is. And grab that single band that goes up and bring it back to itself. Everything is really tight on my loom. Goodness. Go in. Move those bands out of the way. Grab that single band. Bring it up. I'm going to go over to the third pin bar from the right. Go into the, well, I guess it is not a cat band, but that's okay. Bring it straight up. Reach in. Grab that top band. And bring it straight up. I'm going to do one more so that I can do the um, X's. Okay? So, <clears throat> you can pause me if you have to. Um, do the single band straight up here and the single band straight up here. And then when you're done with that, come back. And I'm actually going to go ahead and lay these X's now. Okay, so we're going to loop them back to themselves starting uh, at pin bar 3, um, pin 1. Looping the bottom first. Okay, back to itself. Go into the cap band. Grab that top band and loop it back to itself. Okay, a lot of bands on here, so you might have to do some digging. Go in, grab that top band. Oh, goodness, they're going to be so tight. And bring it back to itself very carefully. I'm just hoping I don't break anything. Drop down, grab the other part of that X, and bring it back to itself. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna go. Oh, so sorry. I'm gonna go over to the other side, starting with the second pin bar on the right. I'm going to reach into that cap band, grab the top band, give it a little bit of a stretch, and bring it back to itself. So you need to have everything pushed down. I push things down, but I can see I'm having a little bit of a problem with them probably because I use thicker bands. So grab the other part of that X and bring it back to itself. Go in, grab the bottom part of the X, bring it back, drop down, reach way in there and grab that X and loop, well, come on, loop it back to itself, okay? So you wanna do those single chains on three and five, drop down, starting on three, bring your X's back to themselves, okay? And um, once you do, let me just do one more of them so I can show you the next step. You can all, like I said, you can always pause and rewind. Oh goodness, that is so tight in there. There we go. Maybe if I pull it up towards the center there, it will be okay. Then we want to go in here, grab that other X, and bring it back to itself. Okay, I'm going to go back over to the side here and finish this one up so I can show you the next step. And again, stop, pause me, come back when you're ready. I don't mind. Okay, so let's bring it up. Well, so tight in there and just like that okay so then what we're going to do is we are going to loop up um, the single bands on two and six so you reach in grab that single band goodness me bring it back to itself go in grab the next one give it a little tug so tight and bring it back to itself go in grab the next one and bring it back to itself okay second one from the right go in grab that single band loop it up next one loop it straight up and the next one you will loop straight up. Okay, go ahead and finish all that to the top and I will be back with mine finished and my bands pushed down.
Okay, do not forget to push those bands down. There are a lot of bands on there, and we still have the um, we still have the uh, starburst in here, and also the pattern to do. Okay, see you back here in just a moment. Okay, I am back, and I finished up the X's. Last X I laid went across this way, and I did the single bands up the side. Same thing on this side right here. I did the X's, last one going this way, and all the single bands straight up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, the zigzags that are over here. Okay, um, I had you lay a band up and down here, so we're going to do that one first. We're going to go in to the second pin, second pin bar. And it's going to be kind of funny because you're not used to doing them like that, but we're going to grab that band and loop it down. Okay. Then what we're going to do is all the zigzags back to themselves. Go in, grab, well, it's going to be a little difficult for me. Oh my goodness, they're tight. Grab the lower left hand side, bring it back to itself. Go in and grab the other one, up and to the left, bring it back, go up, and the next band on top, which is the lower diagonal, bring it back, go in, grab the top band, which is the diagonal that goes up and to the left, and bring that back. So you want to do that all the way up your loom. When you get to the top of the loom, you'll have that one band that goes straight up at the top. Just Go in, grab it, and then loop it straight up. Okay, then go over to the other side and do those zigzags. First thing I'm going to do, second pin bar from the right, second pin up. I'm going to go in here and grab that band that goes straight down. Okay, I think I got it. And then you bring it, well, come on, I know that's the one. It's just kind of tight, so let me loosen it up a little bit. Well, come on. Aren't you the one? I believe that's the one. Yes, it just got caught. Okay. So it goes down to itself. Go into that same pin. Right diagonal, down to itself. Just be careful with your bands. You don't want them to break coming this far and the next one loop it back to itself go up to the next pin grab that top band bring it back to itself and then grab the next one on top which is the diagonal that goes up to the right and bring it back to itself okay do that all the way up the loom and then I will Let's see if there's anything else. No, we're going to be looping out the starburst next. So finish all of those um, zigzags back to themselves, and I will be back with you when I'm done. Okay, I am back, and one thing I need to mention here is that I um, looped these out, and either I missed it in the flipogram, but there's supposed to be a band right here. So what we're going to do is... There is, let me move this out of the way a little bit, right in here. What we're going to do is, is pull a band right through this. It's going to be quite simple, I hope, while I'm trying to balance my loom here. Um, what I'm going to do, let's see the easiest way to do this. Okay, I'm going to lay it on here, and then I'm going to reach in, and I know that this is going to be where it's looped. So as long as I just go through those two white bands right there, I should be fine. See you there? Voila! And then you can go in and loop up that last band to the top. So either I missed it, you know, maybe I just didn't see it, or I don't know, that happens. You know, there's a lot that goes into doing these tutorials. Um, you know, I have to study the flipogram and look at it and make sure I'm, you know, doing everything correctly. So, um, yeah, I missed that band right there. So, 
guess what? I missed it on this side too, and I'd already looped this up, so I'm going to pull this back down. Okay, and I know um, that it's going to go through these. It's going to go through the same bands that this loop went through, and that just happens to be these top white bands here. So I'm going to make sure I'm only pulling through that, putting my hook through that, and then I'm going to precariously grab this band right here. Oop, missed it. There we go. And just pull it up and not catching anything. I caught something on that one. Caught something on my way up. But I'll try this again. Grab that band. Sorry you have to see this. But you know what? It's a learning experience because if it happens to you, you'll know how to fix it. All right, so that's back on there, and then I'm going to take this single one back up to the top. Ooh, so sorry. I missed that band. Can't believe it. But anyway, um, it happens. So this is what your loom should look like, okay? Now, we're going to work on, I don't know if you can see it, but I know this is where my little um, beads are in here. So between here and here, okay? We're going to go to, let's see, one, okay, so let's back it up a second. Between here and here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So it's one, from where we're looping, I'm not counting down here, but from where we're looping, it's one, two, three up. That is going to be the center of your starburst. So what we're going to do is go in and grab, is that gonna work? Yes. She very cleverly laid these out so that when we loop these starbursts, where we've got this extra band here, and it's going to loop back to itself and actually get caught up in that pattern. So uh, if you're afraid it's not gonna catch, not to worry, it'll be just fine. So one, two, three up, we're gonna go in there, lots of bands, on there and we are going to grab the top one. The top one is the band that goes straight down. So we're going to bring it down. Now before we go back into that starburst, we're going to go into that same pin and grab the next one that's going down, the one that's here and here. So we're going to grab that and bring it. Well, come on. Is that the one? Oh goodness, I must have grabbed the wrong one. Okay, happens to me all the time. So it's on the bottom, I believe that's it. Okay, and then it goes back down to itself. Okay, we're gonna go up to the starburst. We're gonna take the next band, which is this one right here, and we're going to loop it back to itself and go into that same pin and loop the one that goes from here to here. And it's at the bottom. Is that the only one? No, that's not the only one because I have... Oh goodness, there's so many on here it's kind of hard to see. But, there it is. Just have to be patient and loop it back to itself. I'm going to go back into the center, grab the next one on top, which is this one that goes across here. To grab that band and bring it back to itself. Go into that same pin, should be the one on the bottom, and grab that band and loop it out to the right. Okay. Going to go back in and grab the next one on top, which I believe is this one, one that goes straight up because we've done that one, this one, and this one, so this would be the next one. I'm going to go in, grab that band, bring it up. And then we're going to go into that same pin and grab that single band. Make sure I get the right one. Grab that single band that goes straight up. So when you're doing your starburst, you've got this extra step in here. Okay? Go back down to the center, grab the next one on top, bring it out to the left, go into that same pin, grab the one on the bottom, and bring it out to the left. We have one more to do. Go in, grab that band that's left, bring it back to itself, 
go into that same pin, grab the one that's on the bottom, and bring it out to the left. Okay, so that's the pattern for your starburst. So, I think I'll do one more of those with you. Hopefully you, everything was on camera, I'm hoping. So, we ended up here. That was our last single band that we brought to the top. Um, yeah, they're going to catch. So we're going to go back up to the center, which is, let me count it for you. One, two, three, four. And I'm counting from where we started here. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up. And if you look in there, if yours are dark, you'll be able to see all of these bands in here. Okay. And that's where our starburst is going to go in and I believe it's the one that goes down is the very first one that's on top get all these out of the way and there it's way over there okay might have to do a little finagling to get it come on there it is right there see that I grab that band bring it down go into that same pin grab the bottom band little odd to get because it's coming down. Bring it back to itself. Go back to the center, grab the top one, which is this diagonal here. We're gonna go here and then over to here. Go in, grab that band, bring it back to itself. Go into the bottom, band. go into, into all those pins, grab the bottom. Well, that's not it, is it? Goodness me, all right, let's try this again. There it is. Grab the bottom one and bring it back to itself and hope none of your bands break. Going back into the center, we're going to go out diagonally and then across. So go in, grab that top band, bring it out to itself, go into that same pin, grab the bottom band and bring it out to the right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go in to this center where those starbursts are, grab that band, bring it straight up, go in, grab that bottom band, and bring it straight up. We're going back to the starburst. We're going to do the one that goes across here and then to here. So go in, grab that band, bring it back to itself, and it starts to get easier in the center there as the bands start to clear out. Grab that bottom band, and bring it to the right. Okay, go back in. We'll do the last one in there. Bring it down to itself. Go into that same pin. Grab the bottom band. There it is. And bring it back to itself. Sometimes you have to just move your bands and hopefully you get the right one. So that's the starburst. Okay, and you're going to do that. Um, Let's see, that was two. You're going to do that four more times. Okay? Um, yeah. So it's between where the beads are, where the, these beads are laid and these beads are laid here. So you go in, and then that's the one right there. And you should be able to tell because you'll see all these extra bands in here on the bottom. Okay? So loop up the rest of your starburst, and I will be back with you. I think we've got the pattern to do, and then... Um, the border bands. Now I'm hoping, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm hoping that my bands are not going to break. I used uh, 600 count, I believe, on these, so they're pretty stretchy. So if I end up not making a teardrop, I'm not going to worry about it because once I take it off the loom, everything should fall into into place. All right, so I finished the starburst, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back, and I finished up my starburst, and my sister is sitting at the table snacking, so if you hear a spoon hit a cup or a bowl, <laughs> say hello, Mimi. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I am back. Now we have two things left to do, and that is the pattern and then the sides here. So... First thing we're going to do is loop out these two bands right here. Whether it's the left first or the right first, um, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go through the cat bands, and I think the one on the right is my first one here. 
sorry, I keep hitting the hitting the camera with my hook. So I'm going to grab that band and bring it back to itself. Okay, I'm going to go in and grab the other one on the bottom here, and I am going to bring that one back to itself. There we go. Now these are those 600 counts. This is the Liberty Blue. I well, maybe this one's not the Liberty Blue, but anyway, it's the the thinner bands. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have too much trouble with them. So now what we want to do, I'm going to make sure that I'm all wiggled in here. Let me get in here and straighten that out some. Okay, so that's the bottom one. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we've done this one diagonal. We're going to do the next diagonals. And then we're going to go straight up and then diagonal and diagonal. And then you'll do the same thing, diagonal twice, straight up, diagonal, diagonal. So I'm only going to do your pattern once. I think um, it's pretty simple and you'll be able to figure that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab, make sure I get past all these, I'm going to grab the diagonal band, not the border band but the diagonal band. Okay, and it's made a little teardrop there. Even though it's stretchy, it's still there. Okay, just make sure that border band is still on the bottom. And mine is. Okay, so we're gonna go into, so we did diagonal, diagonal. This one's going to go straight up. And if I can find it, I think I've already, yeah, I pulled it up to the top already. And it's going to go straight up, okay? Your next band is going to go diagonal, and then diagonal. It's going to meet right where, if you put um, beads or anything on there, that's where it's going to meet. Okay? So you go in and grab that off the bottom, and then bring it diagonally to the right. It's very tight in there, so just be careful with your bands. Okay? Go in where you just left off and grab, well, grab that bottom band. I thought I was going to help myself out by pulling them up a little bit, but I don't know if I helped or hindered. But anyway, that's going to go to the center. Okay, I'm going to drop back down here. I'm going to do this next diagonal, which is kind of a longish diagonal. And make sure that you grab that band and not the border band. Okay. And I sort of have a little teardrop in there, so I know that's the right band. And then I'm just going to double check to make sure my border band is still on the bottom, and it is. Okay. Same pin that you just dropped off on. Go in and grab that bottom band. Very carefully. It's Like I said, it's kind of tight in there. So, is that the right one? Oh, goodness. Make sure. So there are a lot of bands in there, and I just don't want to loop up the wrong thing because I want to make sure that when I take this off the loom, that it is going to, there it is, that it is going to catch everything, okay? So straight up, go into that same pin. Oh, come on. Grab that bottom band, mine is blue, it's the only blue one that's on there, and bring it back to itself. Okay, Go into that same pin, grab that bottom band, and bring it back to itself. Oh, so tight, goodness. All right, so that is your pattern. Diagonal, diagonal, up, diagonal, diagonal to one meet. You'll do the same thing up here, diagonal, diagonal, straight up, then diagonal and diagonal until they meet right here where your beads are. Okay, so finish that, and I'm going to go ahead and do the border. I'm going to start over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to go in and grab that border band, is that the right one? I do believe it is, and bring it back to itself. Go in. Grab the next, well, come on. Okay, so they're so thin, it's kind of hard to, to get them. So let me back myself up so I can see. Okay, 
believe I got that one. And bring it back to itself. Only one on there, and bring it up. Okay, same thing on this side. We've already done this one because that was a part of your, <clears throat> excuse me, part of your pattern that's going around. Go in, grab that bottom band, and bring it back to itself. Go in and grab the next bottom band and bring it back to itself. Oh, please don't break. Okay, so I have a funny thing going on here, so I maybe should have uh, looped out these bands first before I actually went and finished this up, but it's going to be okay. It's on the end, so um, I don't think there's going to be a problem with that. Okay, so go in, grab that bottom band, and bring it back to itself. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Finish your patterns, very simple pattern. Come down and do your border bands and I will meet you back here. So I am back and my apologies because I lost part of my tutorial, the part where I take it off the loom. Now, I guess it's not a big deal, but one thing I wanted to tell you, and you can actually see it in here, um, and this was my, I couldn't find a clip so I just put everything together and secured it with that so that's why you see that hanging out there but when you are doing this last part right here and you bring it up to the border the last pin there I looped these up and brought it around and then I did that last piece right there because if you don't there's no way for this to be um well let's see I'll show you right here if you loop this up and then you loop this up, when you get to the point where you're looping this up right here, there's nothing to catch this on. So once you get to the top, you'll stop on that pin. Same thing over here, you'll stop that pin and then you will complete your border. Okay, so this is what it looks like off the loom. It, you know, and it's very pretty, and I'm going to leave these laying flat like that. Um, I kind of like the little triangle look on the sides there, and I have bands to fix and beads to fix and such. But one thing I want to warn you was I used these spacer beads. They're a little large, and so they are not going to lay the way I want them to. So I'm going to just use them as a cluster in here. So when you see this, you'll know, oh, you know. I did that on purpose so it's very pretty um, I like the colors this is Gigi's rising star okay um, I will take pictures of it and just know that these were a little large so they're just going to cluster in there there's no rhyme or reason for them they will not stay where I put them so they're just going to be clustered okay I guess like stars are clustered. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Um, <clears throat> if you'd like to see future tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. And um, hashtag Gigi's Rising Star Bracelet. Hashtag Clark. Michaela, that's C-L-A-R-K-E-M-I-C-H-A-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, and hashtag Lila's Gigi. So, I hope to see everyone again soon. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I know you thought you saw the last of me, but I forgot um, to show you how this fits on the wrist. And I always like to do that so people will have an idea. So, it fits perfectly for me um, for a C clip, but because I like to use the clasps that are probably about this wide, I probably would not put one of the last pieces on here. Um, I would actually probably have five of these, okay? <clears throat> because that would 
make it about that much less, which is about the same size as I would use for my um, clasp that I like to use. So, just thought I would come back on and show you that. Um, also, I believe I spelled uh, Michaela's last name wrong. It's um, C L A R K. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-L-A, -L -L and I'll have that down below. Um, so, again, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel for future tutorials.